Nation of Fit and 10, welcome to day 36, the first day of the second half. I sent out numbers today, so please have a look at those. Uh, actually, you don't really need to because your numbers haven't changed, okay? So don't worry so much about, uh, about that. Again, it's about being consistent with something reasonable over time, right? It's about a little bit of a deficit every single day, right? It's not about extremes, okay? So follow your numbers and uh, don't write me, ask me, you know, if I can change your, well, you can if you want, I suppose, but you know, you, your numbers don't need to change every seven days, okay? Remember, it's about following something reasonable over time. That's what it is. It's about a little bit every day, not a massive amount in one day. Okay, name something specific you can improve on for the following week. I eat too much in the evening. So you need to, to this person, you need to set some boundaries, assign yourself three or four meals per day or whatever it is that you wanna eat, pre-plan your food and abide by those boundaries. Okay, that's what you need to do. That's what, that's what I suggest you do. Name something specific you need help with, spreading my calories across the day. So again, this all comes back to pre-planning. Plan it out just like you would for many other th other things in your life. You know, uh, I'm sure that, um, well, let me think of a good example here. I know that this person runs their own business and I'm sure that a lot of aspects to your business, you're not winging, you are planning, you are pre-planning. So this is the same thing with your diet, okay? You gotta pre-plan it. Uh, don't feel hungry in the morning, really. Okay, so again, I think I talked about this yesterday. You don't have to eat first thing in the morning. Uh, I don't even eat first thing in the morning and I still consume, uh, it's actually hard for me to consume 3,000 calories, hard in the sense that I'd love to eat more. Uh, but I eat 3,000 calories, you know, I mean, that may not mean a whole lot to you guys because I've been doing this for so long, but um, you don't have to eat first thing in the morning. Give yourself a couple hours Hydrate first thing in the morning, take some electrolytes, some salt, some water, do that first thing in the morning. Uh, wait a couple hours and then start eating, okay? Feeling peckish in the evening, so I eat. <clears throat> Again, we gotta set up those boundaries. Stop yourself from eating at night. You know, do at least one night so that when you wake up in the morning, you feel a little more hungry. Comment here, you've covered satiety, struggling struggling for the exact issue, struggling for the exact issue, but it's related. I think it's energy and having it throughout the day and flattening the peaks and valleys. Okay, so listen, there is, all right, so there's a couple things here. With, with satiety, I know I went through a number of ways to help you stay satiated. Actually, one thing I failed to mention is salt intake. You know, salt intake, if, you, if, you're not, if you're not getting enough salt in your diet, you are going to crave sugar more. If you don't get enough salt in your diet, if you don't get enough sodium in your diet, let's be very specific here. If you're not getting enough sodium in your diet, your, go, your cravings for sugar will go up. All right, so keep that in mind. So this could, this, this could be salt related, at least partially. It is, a lot, it is with a lot of people because people think salt's bad. Okay, they think sodium is bad. Uh, I think it's energy and having it through. Okay, so energy here. Listen, unless you are exceptionally lean and your calories are low, uh, you are not in any energy deficit. Okay, sorry, I shouldn't say you're not in an energy deficit. You are not in any need of exogenous energy, okay, eating essentially, or drinking, I guess you could you could say. Uh, you don't need it, okay? So if you feel like you don't have energy, this is probably more related to, well, it could be a number of things, but this is more probably neurotransmitters in the brain or on a, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, on an electrolyte, we'll just call it that. I was gonna try to use a fancy word, but I'm not going to. On, on a, on a, on a electrochemical gradient basis, okay, that's, what, that's actually what I was looking for. 
you probably may not be getting enough uh, electrolytes and if you're not then you're not going to feel like you have energy okay so pay attention to that pay attention to the types of foods that you're eating and this has to do with neurotransmitter output in the brain we want to be eating the foods aka proteins on a regular basis throughout the day to keep our dopamine up higher and this is going to allow us to feel more alert and energetic Okay, so again, not necessarily the fact that are we getting enough calories in or not, because that's not the issue. The issue is your brain and potentially electrolytes, okay? So I'll give you an ex extreme example here. If you decide to cut out sodium out of your diet, you just cut it out, you go zero sodium you are going to feel like you just want to lie down. You're gonna feel like you don't want to move. You are going to feel extremely sluggish and you're gonna feel like something is wrong with you, okay? Now I'm using an extreme example there, but if you ever wanna know what it feels like not to have any sodium in your diet, but to a lesser extent, okay, so not going so extreme, even if you don't have, you know, sufficient amount of sodium, you're just having some, but not sufficient amount. And, you know, especially if you're super active or it's hot outside, these types of things, uh, you are going to feel this energetically you're going to feel like you don't have energy okay um all right i'm going to stop there and i'm going to go to the message of the day and uh message of the day is the following the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit be patient be humble keep moving forward and know that all this hard work you're putting in day in day out will produce the results you've been looking for your time is coming all right, and this may extend beyond 70 days, of course, right? 70 days is a very short period of time. All right, I don't know about you guys, but for me, time seems to be speeding up and 70 days is like nothing. Um, but the point in all this is to be patient and know that what you're doing is a lifestyle. It should be lifestyle, because after all, you're just a, uh, you're just a recent reflection, at least physically speaking, excuse me, you're just a reflection of your re recent past, physically speaking. Okay, so as I've said from the get-go, whatever you do, you've got to keep doing essentially, right? There is no diet that you follow. You lose a bunch of weight, then you go off the diet and everything's hunky-dory. It doesn't work like that. All right, so be patient, be humble, don't give up, of course, right? Um, but most importantly, we've got to keep moving ahead, right? We've got to keep uh, pushing forward and we've got to be relentless, All right? Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself and for the love of God, give some gratitude and I'll talk to you all tomorrow.